head. Now, Andrew Fazekas is on the line, as always, our night sky guy. Andrew, keep us tuned in for those forecast updates, but right now you've got an update on what stargazers should be looking out for this weekend. That's right, Suzanne. This weekend, we've got a great uh, show uh, in the evening, very civilized stargazing time, and it has to deal with the moon. The beautiful waxing gibbous moon is going to be pairing up in the western sky with one of the most famous and brightest star clusters that people can see just with the naked eye, and that's called the Pleiades. And this is going to happen on Sunday night. So if you've got clear skies on Sunday night, take a look towards the west and you'll see a, a moon hanging above the horizon and just, just above the moon to the upper left, you'll see a fuzzy patch of stars. They're all clustered together, all huddled together. And in fact, this is a, a, a nursery of baby stars. And when I say baby, it's a, they're about 100 million years old, but compared to the <laughs> 5 billion years, I know, isn't that funny? It's all That's relative. This, our sun is five billion, so so it's it's amazing. And get this, they're four hundred light years away, and you can see this with the naked eye this Sunday night. Astonishing. We're going to look towards the western sky as if the moon's sight isn't enough, Andrew. Thank you for the stargazing update. Clear skies. The nightskyguy.com, where you can get more information. And I've got to tell you, Atlanta, Canada, you'll have some clear skies on Sunday night. I'll be back in a minute with your local weather.